I'm going to make a part two to this. And it's actually too late now because I already am. I'm going full out rant mode because this is just pissing me off right now. I, I cannot function with Six Flags, well, with me knowing that Six Flags is adding virtual reality to their coasters. Okay, Six Flags, listen, I get you want to use new technology, and yes, I, I approve of that, but not with virtual reality, please. I don't know, put iPhones on roller coaster rails and see how a roller coaster runs over it. Just do something else. Like, really. And then with these virtual reality goggles, here's a theory. If you don't like loose articles on rides, you don't like them flying out all over the place, this is why you don't allow cameras on rides, okay? This is why. Now, you're going to be putting virtual reality goggles on rides. Does that add up, Six Flags? If you're putting those things on the ride, you might as well allow loose articles on the ride. What if someone just takes the thing off during the ride and full force chucks it at something? What's going to happen then, Six Flags? Like, what happens if someone just takes it off their head during the ride, like up the lift hill, and throws it? Like, it, it just doesn't make sense, Six Flags. That's what guests do, because you know why? They like to annoy the crap out of you, okay? They, get, they like to get kicked out. And I bet you they're going to have to pay for a new one. But still, there you go. $1,000 just thrown into a query wall. Like, it doesn't make sense, Six Flags. Someone, I bet you, on Superman the Ride, someone's going to take it off and chuck it into the lake. I'm not even joking. Someone's going to take it off and full force throw it into the lake. Like, <laughs> it's funny of that thought. But <laughs> it's just pathetic that Six Flags just tries this. Don't even try Six Flags. That is what's going to happen. That's what guests do. You know why? Immaturity. You not you do not see the summertime. Guests have their shirts off. They're all happy and, you know, it's summertime. They do crazy stuff. That's one of the crazy stuff. Six Flags. You should have an option not to wear this. Because you know what? I'm sure 99.9% .9 of the people who are going to Six Flags parks are going to choose the option to not wear it. We just want to ride roller coaster Six Flags. We don't want to go battle aliens up in Metropolis, okay? Like, it doesn't belong on roller coasters, Six Flags. You know where virtual reality belongs? Virtual reality belongs up your CEO's butt. That's where it belongs, okay? I can't wait, really. I'm not being mean when I say this, but I cannot wait until that CEO gets fired. Jim Reed Anderson, I need you back right now, okay? This is a situation where we could use you, because you would say no, because guess what? They're going to fly off. You actually approve of that loose articles policy. The CEO, you know, Tim Crook, whatever his name is, not gonna prove that like really it's like oh we're gonna put virtual reality goggles and you loose articles are not permitted it's, it's the same thing virtual reality it's goggles you don't allow people to wear glasses that's basically a big chunk of glasses it's you just don't make sense six flags you make no coherent sense at all vocab word you make no coherent sense don't put it on roller coasters. Put it on freaking drop towers if you had the option. Heck, almost e pretty much every Six Flags has a drop tower. Even La freaking Ronde has a drop tower. Even the Great freaking Scape has a drop tower. Okay? All Six Flags parks probably have a drop tower. Doesn't America? Yeah, America does have a drop tower. The Mardi Gras thingy, blah, blah, blah. Put it on a god dang drop tower, Six Flags. You make no freaking sense at all. Like, I just want to ride some goddamn roller coasters, okay? That's how it adds up, okay? I'm going to go full ramp mode right now. This is going to be the best explanation possible. Nine different parks, Six Flags. Nine different freaking parks. Do you want someone chucking it into a freaking lake? I don't think so. You know why? You're going to be paying thousands of dollars per goggle set. You know how many trains you have on each of these coasters you're putting on? Nine coasters. Say they have three trains and say rides like Superman the Ride. That's two rows. That's about eight rows on three trains. 16 riders, three trains. 16 times three is 48. $48,000 on Superman the Ride alone. Okay, Six Flags? No. Okay? Alone. That's just alone. Let's add the, uh, let's add Krypton Coaster in. Floorless Coaster, about seven rows, eight rows, eight rows of four. That's 32 times three. Okay, three trains. 32 times three, Six Flags. 
32 times freaking free. $96,000 on Krypton Coaster alone. So now you have 48K plus 96K. That's over $100,000 on just two coasters for virtual reality. I'm just estimating it. It's about $1,000 for one virtual reality goggle. You just don't make sense, Six Flags. You gotta listen. It's not just, oh, let's stick them on rides. You gotta understand, people are immature. That's one thing. They're gonna throw it at something. That's another thing. You're probably gonna have a million squirrels dead. Someone someone on the Cobra Roll and Krypton Coast is gonna chuck it down in the pathway. It's gonna hit someone in the head. And guess what? They're gonna die, Six Flags. And guess whose responsibility it is? You and Samsung. Because you're the one that made an agreement with Samsung, you CEO Tim Crook. Whatever your name is, I don't know. Just please get Jim. Either I have two options for this. Six Flags. Listen, you either bring me back Jim Reed Anderson, which was, oh my God, he wouldn't have done this, because he would not approve. He would have said, "You're crazy. Get out of here." To fire your CEO because already I don't like him. He's not coming. I'm not too impressed with what he's done so far. I'm starting to like Cedar Fair better now. Actually, Six Flags. Michigan's Adventure can put virtual reality on their roller coasters and get it's not gonna make it any better. Michigan's Adventure is like the Great Escape. You can compare it like that. Okay? Six Flags. Like Cedar Fair is well rounded. First of all, they're obviously very well rounded. They have nice front gates. Another thing, Six Flags. Your front gates are like deserts, like seriously. Another thing, they don't have virtual reality rip headphone users on their rides. You just it doesn't make sense, Six Flags. I really don't understand you right now. I'm ending this video right now. It's... And then you gotta put it on the Daredevil. You know what? Daredevil, dive. You know what? I'm done. Six Flags. I'm done. Make no sense.